I'm Kay Parkinson. I was the founder of a charity called Alstrom Syndrome UK. And during the last few years of my working life, I was the CEO of Cambridge Rare Disease Network. Alstrom Syndrome is an ultra rare disease. Um, it's affected both my children quite profoundly. Um, both had sight loss, hearing loss, kidney failure and numerous other allied conditions. The journey for the children was quite horrific. The diagnosis only came when the children got to Great Ormond Street, which actually took 18 years for them to, to get to the person who could make the diagnosis. Had Matthew and Charlotte uh, been managed effectively, there could be every chance that we'd still have our two children. I think the rare disease journey we went through is very much experienced by very many people uh, with children affected by rare disease. When I was working for Cambridge Rare Disease Network, it saddened me greatly to hear from families who were still going through the same process that I'd gone through with my children. Rare diseases need dedicated pathways through to specialists. And sadly, you know, most hospitals, the doctors will not have expertise. So number one criteria is that fast access to a specialist and that would save very many lives. Um, lots of people are working extremely hard to make a difference, but really it's not coming soon enough because patients with rare disease lack time. I mean, when we started Alstrom, there was nothing. It started with absolutely no money whatsoever and we had to get generate that that income for the charity but not every parent can do that and not every parent has time whilst looking after some very sick children which is why we want to start a rare disease nurse network so very much like Macmillan does for cancer patients that there's a network of nurses who go into the home and talk to the patient and offer advice and support. I do try to raise awareness. I know things have changed for Alstrom families, but sadly they haven't changed for the vast majority. And in fact, the Alstrom charity is not, although we set it up, it's not indicative of our story because it wasn't there, we created it. So really my story relates far more to the seven and 8,000 rare diseases out there without a diagnosis and without a national specialised service. And that's why we're setting up a rare disease nurse network, is that we can pool this experience that nurses have working with rare diseases, not just in this country, but, but globally, and ultimately provide specialised professional support uh, for patients.